Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me some. 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 I'm not going to do it back. I'm going to see what you do. <laughs> <laughs> it drives me nuts when you don't, though. <laughs> I do it so oh. different all the time. So we don't call them huddles anymore. We have these leaders lab that we call them. And leaders I, labs? Um, leader, it's leaders lab. Whoa. Okay. We don't, call it a, we don't call it a huddle up anymore. We call it a leaders lab. Okay. Anyway, we do it on our leaders lab. And if I don't get a good day, sir, back, it kind of, you know, doesn't, it just doesn't do me justice. I, I don't like it. But anyway, buddy, um, look at, Look at all your purple. See it now. Pink. I no no no. Oh, you're okay. Yeah, you're right. It is. It's definitely pink for Barbie. Did you go and see the movie? I actually haven't seen it yet. I'm just like a poser right now with this sweater. I just saw it and I liked it. I'm like, I have to have that. Well, and you know what? Like you have two boys, right? You don't have girls. I know. I know. Fair is fair. Um, I'm sure they're not jumping to go see Barbie. <laughs> but anyway. Um, my excitement today is through the roof. You know, we've, um, <clears throat> Brandon, we've asked so many people about, um, like we, we've interviewed, this, I think some of the most like highest powered salespeople that you, like you can, right. We had between Edward Pritchett and Nate Offert and Dar like, there's so many just rock stars that we've interviewed. And it's crazy. Every single time we ask them the question is like, Hey, what do you think? is one of the most important things that you can do from a sales process that really like, once I started doing this, like, bam, like I know for a fact that if I don't do this, it absolutely hurts my sales by, you know, X amount, whatever the percentage is like, but once mm -hmm. I started doing it nail every single time. And so many people refer to like, it's how you start the presentation. Yeah. Um, I know that Dave Lappin, for example, he's like, John, once I perfected the role and purpose, hands down, no questions asked, it's set up my presentation. It makes it so much easier. I'm able to connect with them. They're able to see me as a human being. It, I get to take away, I get to do so many different things. Like once I really started understanding the importance of a role and purpose, um, my sales sky skyrocketed. And so, mm -hmm. You know, I've been a big proponent of like, hey, it was really digging into the why, right? You've heard me talk about that. But um, I do agree that this is equally just as important. So if you truly want to like just set the standard, set the, st uh, set the tone, right? You talk about this on the phones all the time, Mer. You're like, hey, the first three seconds is extremely important. Well, when it comes to the sales presentation, this mm -hmm. is just as important, right? We're setting the stage. We're setting the standard. Wouldn't you agree when we're kind of referring yeah. to the purpose? So this part of the presentation is so critical that for me, it made the difference between closing, helping um, zero people with an application or helping like 80 to 90%. And um, a lot of people these days that are calling digitally, like people that went online, um, Facebook or, you know, different online sources and we get them on the phone, it's even more critical it's always critical but in that lead source specifically if this isn't done perfectly like in my opinion this is the presentation for digital leads we do dive into the why and, and stuff like that but at the end of the day if this isn't done right almost a hundred percent of the time the people are saying that they want to think about it so yeah. a lot of the calls i get from people saying hey can you help me i'm not closing digital leads i'm getting crushed i'm like let me hear the beginning of your presentation and it's not what we're about to talk about today. Yeah. So John, when I onboard new agents to my team, this is one of the first, this is the first thing that I have the master at part of the client presentation. <laughs> so if you were getting trained by me, this would be your first assignment. It's the master what we're going to talk about. And this is going to be on the website. Um, it's going to be right there under Roland Purpose. We'll we'll identify it for you guys and, and put it up there. So we're going to role play this. And then what we're going to do based from the role play is we're just going to kind of break down why each part of it is as important as it is to have you to, to basically have you guys have a reference point, something to refer back to. Samir, let's do it. Um, we just got on the phone. We connected. We, however you set people up, whether it's virtually, whether it's through Zoom, whether it's through Facebook Messenger, whether it's just over the phone. 
So Miranda, we just connected. Oh my God, Miranda, hi, how are you? It's nice to talk to you again. Hey, listen, John, I know we spoke a little while ago, an hour ago. <laughs> Don't forget to chat with them a little bit, right? That doesn't go away. Like, oh, wow, did anything cool happen in the last hour? <laughs> I know that it was just a little while ago we talked, but like be you don't just dive into this like a weird person like you got to be you right have that conversation um but i'm going to dive in john so listen um john <laughs> i'm licensed by the state of florida and my role is what they call a field underwriter i'm a broker okay um as a broker i have access to over 60 of the top rated companies that offer this coverage so i shop around for you um just so you know, I don't only specialize in life insurance. I also do mortgage protection, final expense, retirement, getting out of debt, children's grow up plans, accidental death, critical illness. So really my job is to find you the best coverage you qualify for at the best price. Does that sound good? It does. Yes. Cool. Cool. So listen, there's four things we're going to do on this phone call to close your case. Um, the first thing I'm going to do, John, is verify your health information. Some carriers are super picky, um, while others are not. <laughs> okay, so the ones that give us the best rates, they are the pickiest. So I need to know the details, okay? Because when they do their underwriting, they're going to use your social security number to see if all the prescriptions you filled, medical history, driving record, lifestyle, and they even look at your criminal background to determine your eligibility. So the more information I have, the better price I can get you. So I'm kind of like your attorney, John, and the carrier is like the judge. Does that make sense? <laughs> it does. Okay, cool. Okay. Listen, Um. okay, the second thing's pretty basic here Um. is to discuss what you may have in place for life insurance and what you feel like you may need and see if there's a gap there. Um, my number one job today is to help um, you determine what you may need to protect um, your family. And also to ensure that's in your budget. And most importantly, John, that you actually qualify for the insurance. Does that sound good? Yeah, it does. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> the third thing is I'm going to show you a few options. Your job will be to pick a plan that fits your needs and budget. And then lastly, um, once you find the right fit, we're going to apply today. Okay. And see if we can get you approved. This usually takes about five minutes or so. It's super easy. We'll just do it right here over the phone. Um, but when we put in an application today, John, one of four things can happen. Firstly, they can say issue as applied for, which is my goal. That happens about 95% of the time. But they can say, look, John is in better shape than we thought and your price is less. And I love it when that happens. Okay, I love it. Third thing is they could say, wait a minute, there's some stuff here in John's prescription history or maybe criminal background and the price is more. But, or they could decline you, John. And, you know, we want to avoid that. But if they do decline you, we do have over 60 carriers. And we're going to, we'll move on to plan B. So as I said, John, some carriers, they give an immediate decision. But, but, but for most, it's going to take about three to five days, sometimes more, to see if we can even get you approved. So we're going to put in an application today for a plan that you like, that's affordable, and one that I think you have a good shot at. And then I'll work as hard to get an issue as applied for. Does that sound good? Yeah, it does. Perfect. Okay, so let's break that down. First and foremost, how many minutes did it take? It didn't take her 15 minutes, 18 minutes to cover that. It may have been a two-minute segment, three-minute segment. Uh, and I'd love to hear kind of in the chat, I know so many of you listen on Spotify. Will you guys please go and listen on YouTube? Please. <laughs> Um, and, and communicate with us and chat with us. I love looking at the, 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 the section there, but anyway, um, I would love to hear like, like what your guys' thought process was on that. Like, was it quick? Was it clean? Was it, I mean, just, just kind of give us your feedback and just that general overview of what you did. Number one, number two, I want to break this down now, Mer, um, and talk about a, a few of the things. So you had said in there that you're a broker. So ultimately being a broker and that you shop around. So that means that you are not married to any one particular carrier, right? And that, that's exactly what we're telling them up front is we don't care basically who you go with. We care that you're basically getting the best price. But then you also covered that as well in just a little bit too about the, the ones with the better price being the pickiest. Um, 
you, 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 we also covered kind of the array of what we do, Mur, right? I want you mm -hmm. just, to, and I want your input here, but you, uh, let me go back to it here really quick, but you talked about, um, what was, you talked about like children's whole life policies. Oh, you said life insurance, mortgage protection, final expense, retirement, getting out of debt, children's grow up plans, accidental death critical illness. One thing I would do there is I would slow down and emphasize for all the listeners, okay? As you're going through that particular segment of it, what we're doing is we're creating a bunch of boxes to get them to start to kind of think about that it's not just life insurance or it's not just mortgage protection with what we're doing. Anything that you would kind of add to that, bud? No, I, I, you're spot on. Um, really, you're planting the seed that whatever it is you're calling about, there's other stuff that you do, right? You're not boxing yourself in the corner that like, hey, I'm only here for mortgage protection, right? Yeah. Mortgage protection or life insurance gets us in the door and then we can help them with all these other things. Yeah, and and then keep in mind too, what's being done there is um, you had also said that the first thing is um, I'm gonna verify your health information. Some carriers are super picky while others are not. The ones that give us the best rates are the pickiest. So again, you're telling them that you're going to see really good rates out there, but they tend to be super picky, right? Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't matter whether they're getting a card in the mail that says AARP, a million dollars in coverage for $7 a month. It just tells them that they're going to be extremely picky with stuff like that. So I love, mm -hmm. I love those little bit of seeds that we're kind of planting there too, Mer. Um oh. Go ahead. One of the things just right above that, um, that's so important, especially for digital leads, actually all leads, but specifically digital leads. Listen, there's four things we're going to do on this call to close your case. Yeah. So we're letting them know we are on the phone or on Zoom or whatever. If you're on Zoom, don't say phone, <laughs> but like to close your case, like that was a big deal. I left that out before. And that's when I was like, definitely like wondering like, what in the world's going on here? These little words like that make a big difference. And another thing that um, on mortgage protection, the leads are like pre-qualified a little more because they just bought a home. So the bank just said, hey, this person's like, we approved to loan the money, right? But life insurance leads, they didn't just have that happen per, per se. So sometimes there's some more colorful things that pop up, criminal history stuff that you don't run into as much. So yeah. you'll see that in that type of script, I, it's mentioned a few times, like they're gonna check your criminal background. They're going to look at this stuff because John, I remember when I started calling digital leads, I was like, oh boy, like I forgot to ask some of that stuff. And you want to find out now, not when in the middle of a, an application, right? That's so true. That's so true because how like, how much does that suck when you're going through the application after they've already committed that you find out that they have four speeding tickets in the last 12 months, mm -hmm. right? Or they have a felony. You're like, dang it or something that like you can get them a different type of policy. And then now you have to, they agreed to a hundred thousand dollars for, you know, 80 bucks a month. And now you're getting them 80,000 or $50,000 for 200 bucks a month. Like there's a lot yeah. of, a lot of stuff. So there, there's a lot of preparation up front that will help you avoid this stuff on the back end for sure. And like, don't just ignore some of these key things that, that you're saying and that, that we're hearing from the client because that's the worst case scenario that happens at the very end, buddy. You're right. And training people on this, on the role and purpose. There's one thing that happens sometimes when people, we say stick to this verbatim. <laughs> You're doing these really funny faces. Right now, Sorry. You know? <laughs> <laughs> like I can't focus. All right. <laughs> if, see, this is why you got to be on YouTube, you guys, because of what John just did. <laughs> it's crazy. All yeah. right. So, okay. Some new guys that I've been training on role and purpose, um, they want to stick to it too verbatim and they forget to get pauses at the end of each one of these, these um, steps. So I specifically said, there's four things we're going to do. Make sure you get a yes after, you know, even if it's not necessarily in the script to say, John sound good. Like you want to pause because if you don't, especially if it's a phone call, what could they be doing? Dishes, fighting with their spouse, have you on mute, you know, on Facebook, who knows what they're doing. If you, you have to get them involved quick and hello, makes sense, John. Cool. You're good with me. Yes. Like do that throughout and, that role and of purpose. If, and even if they're not engaged, Miranda, that will cause them to engage with you. 
They'll be like, yeah. honey, stop. Like he keeps asking me questions, right? Or she keeps yeah. asking questions. So even you might not get it initially. Like, oh yeah, does that make sense, Miranda? And you don't hear anything. Oh, Murray, are you still with me? Yeah. All right. Does that make sense? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then now they're going to pay attention because they don't want to keep getting caught off guard. Yeah. So that's a really solid point, bud. Um, further kind of breaking this down. Um, I like, I like how it's just, again, pretty basic discuss what you may have, um, may have in place already for life insurance. So we're basically telling them that we want to talk about the existing life insurance that they have. How many people avoid that, bud? Like how many people just stay away from the idea of people having this existing life insurance, or if they have it through work, they're beating them up. And that's another podcast that we need to do, by the way is talking about different life insurance and mm. how to approach that and how to communicate about that and how to talk about that. So many people beat it up. And I find that we need to disarm the client and get excited that they have it and encourage them to go out and get more and like love the fact that they made that type of decision for their family instead of like totally. degrade them for what it is that they have. Um, but anyway, and then... Um, there's, I know we're, we're kind of coming up on time here. And so there's a couple of things I really want to talk about. Um, number one, how many times in that script did she tell me that we are taking an application today? How many a lot. times? <laughs> Write it in the chat. Like after you listen, you should go back and re-listen it. How many times did she tell me that we are taking an application today? Why is that so important, Miranda? Why is it so important to set the foundation early to tell them? Because a lot of people avoid this. A lot of people stay away from it. A lot of people think that it's uncomfortable if I do that. What if they say no this early to me in the presentation? The cool thing is that you have the entire presentation to make up for, right, Mer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and listen, you don't want there to be any confusion. If you are having people saying, oh, that's great. I'll, you know, I'll call you later to do the policy or I, I got to think about it. You're probably not using the term today enough in your role and purpose. This is the presentation right here, right? And John, in our other trainings, we used to have this, there's four things that could happen when you apply. It was later on, right before we showed plans, but in digital leads, like things got, you had to be so fast that I moved it right to the very beginning because I wanted to let them know right now that there's four things that could happen. They could say, yes, no, up the price, down the price. And we're going to do an application today. Does that sound good? No. And shake your head. Yes. Even if you're on the phone, like a weirdo, just shake your head. Yes. <laughs> right. Because what does that have the person do on the other end of the line? It has them agreed to it. It has them in the position of saying yes moving forward i want you also to think about like the brilliance of the psychology behind this too we are we are taking the power away from them we're taking i'm taking i'm disarming you with any power that you have Miranda, and thinking that this is your choice thinking that now this is up to you this ain't up to you anymore this is up to the carrier so what am i doing i'm taking it away how many times in that script was there a takeaway I want to hear that in the chat as well. I want you guys to post that in there. How many times was it taken away? How many times did we say something to the extent of we don't know if we can get you approved? There's something you have to apply for and we may not get approved, but we have 60 other carriers, right? How many different things did we, did we, did we disarm them? Did we take away their power from thinking that this choice is theirs? So again, follow this verbatim, like she said, Follow it to a T. Do not ad lib. Don't add your own little stuff. There's years and years and years and years and years and years and years of experience inside of this script. Use it, say it, own it, and go slow and emphasize and pause at the end. Look for verification. Everything that we talked about. And Miranda, that is how. Yes. Suck it. Suck. So here, yeah, that's a, and then at the very end, when they people, when you say sound good and they say yes. You what did they just agree to, John? Doing the app, right? Yeah, they agree yeah. to it. So after you get that yes, I want you to move forward with the ultimate confidence that you are doing business. They already told you yes. They told you yes. If it is if it's in budget, they're doing it. So yeah. abs frequently again, if you were brand new on my team or you were not having the success you wanted, I would have you go through and read this thing out loud 20 times 
record yourself, listen to it, master it, do it. This will be the key to you getting um, 80 to 90% of people on paper doing an application. So there you go. And Let's that's second it. at sales, y'all. So click here, like <laughs> here, love here, subscribe. Go over to our YouTube channel, please. <laughs> okay. And we'll post this on our website. Yes, we will. There you go. Bye, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Show me some. Show me. Show me some. Show me. Show me some. Show me. Show me some.